back here at uh, Wildlife HQ. I'm just um, come to check out the build we did it uh, about a week ago. A good, yeah, week, a week today. Uh, with the Artists of the Year, the Aquascape contractors, Greg, Whitstock, Ed, Brian, Chris, and all the rest of them. Um, they've all taken off back to the States now, but we're just gonna show you what we did and how it's looking. Water's clearing up nicely. I'll give it a flock later. But we've just been pumped out and that's looking pretty damn cool. Can't wait for the gibbons to get in there. Nice turn in the waterfall there. The upper pool, another nice drop off pond. And then we go down to our negative edge and into our um, pondless reservoir. We designed it this way just so that um, it'd be easy cleaning. Also, there'd be less um, me mechanisms for the monkeys to get into, so no skimmer on this one. That is the skimmer. So all the material, see it starting to flow off the edges there, collects on those rocks where it can be taken out by hand at leisure. Um, looking really good. That plant life is really gonna come up later. This is a forest stream. Uh, this is the gibbons, um, oh, you know, trying to recreate the gibbons natural habitat which is a, a tropical forest, rainforest. This will become quite thick, giving them plenty of places to hide in and move through. And I can see them just enjoying the rocks there, maybe taking a sun. Let's see what happens there. I'm looking, really looking forward to seeing these gibbons in place. But uh, let's go inside and check out a little bit closer what's going on with it. And so here it is, um, the water's cleared up beautifully. I love how this turns through there. Um, nice little upper pool. It's, so, it's just amazing that we, um, as a group, there was a whole bunch of us, and you would have seen the shots possibly, but a um, uh, real good combination between, there goes the cane, <laughs> the cane train, big pineapple. Um, uh, collaboration. So with Aquascape, with raw fishing, Aquascape Supplies Australia and Waterscapes Australia, plus all the uh, certified contracts from uh, contractors, Aquascape contractors from Australia that came along to this. They really did a great job. And then Maureen, Suncoast Tropicals, uh, has planted all this out. Lovely forest this will be. You can sort of imagine what's gonna go on here. The gibbons amongst the foliage. Um, you can see how the, uh, the negative edge on this, hello, cane train. Um, the negative edge of this is working perfectly. You see the um, African tulip, which is actually a bit of a noxious weed in Australia, but left in place because it is providing some shade and some cover for these um, animals when they get here. Um, but you'll see how it, uh, the, the debris and the flowers are actually making their way right through this and then falling off onto the pebble of the uh, reservoir. There is about a thousand litres under there. So this is another form of skimmer, um, which is really important in, um, in considering when you're building a pond, what kind of skimming action you're going to put on it. And that could be a normal skimmer, uh, the uh, aquascape skimmers, we have different sizes, different ponds on that, or a negative edge works really well as well. Uh, something to consider. Give this three to four months and she'll be grown in. I can see this stream coming out of a nicely sort of uh, foliaged area. As the plants get up and round it and protect it a bit, that'll become a beautiful little, uh, little moving area where the water seems like it's coming out of a forest, which is the effect you want to give when you're designing. Nice little beachy entrance there. Those plants will come up. Looking really good. Well done guys, well done team. Um, Wildlife HQ, so thank you very much for having us here. It was just such a pleasure working with you guys. Um, and we just enjoyed every minute of donating this system to you guys here and look forward to seeing it grown in. Capybara is next. <laughs>